Hi, just an impromptu video. The electric car, the Hyundai Ionic, uh, well, the tyre went flat <laughs> before the EV battery did. Um, yeah, it's got a puncher and it's a really fast uh, puncher. It's got these um, energy saver tyres. Oh, I don't know if you can read that, it's a bit dark. Energy saver um, tyres on them, you know, low roll-in resistance tyres, blah, blah, blah. Um, and, um, yeah, anyway, it's, I've, I've got a service on Monday, and, uh, of course, it doesn't come with a spare, uh, tyre to save weight and space and everything else, which is, you know, important on an EV, um, and to get better efficiency, you don't want the weight of the spare tyre in there all the time, so they give you an inflator kit, uh, which is, oh, I can actually show you that, the inflator kit is just the, uh, you know, the chemical um, inflator stuff, whatever, you know, chemical is in there. And uh, they give you the inflator, which then it just plugs in series with here. And uh, then it pumps the tire full of the uh, chemical. And that um, seals the tire and hopefully gets you home. So I haven't actually found the puncher on it yet. Haven't had a look. But uh, anyway, I'm about to take this tyre to the local uh, tyre repair centre and try and get it fixed. I don't want to have to use the chemical inflator if I uh, don't have to. So, yeah, oh, stay, stay there, you bastard. No, it's going to fall over. All right, hang on. Ugh. Bloody tyre. I was standing up before. But anyway, I thought I'd show you. There's the, uh, there's the front brake pad which has probably <laughs> almost never been used um, because it's an EV, of course, it has regenerative braking. Even if you switch um, it off, it still uses the regen, uh, like if you put it in coast mode, um, it still uses the regen uh, braking un until, unless you absolutely slam on the brakes, only then will the discs actually come on. So yeah, like there's no, there's, I don't think there's any pad wear on that at all. Of course, you know, there's stories about EVs get in, in like, you know, the, the life of the car before they need a pad uh, re replacement on them. So anyway, so I doubt that uh, it's ever been used. But anyway, I have no idea about cars. So I thought I'd just show you in here for those curious. Not sure if that's uh, what sort of... That's not the motor, I don't think. But uh, anyway, it's in there somewhere. And I don't know, there's the struts for those playing along at home. Very India car stuff. But that's it. So, of course, it doesn't come with a jack. So, <laughs> because they give you the tyre inflator uh, kit. So I had to get the jack from the other car. But uh, there you go. Just thought I'd show you that. Virtually, I've done 16,000 kilometers and 12 months. So I get my 12 month service on uh, Monday. And yes, I am going to do a, uh, you know, 12 month video, my experience with the EV after 12 months, blah, blah, blah. Um, so that, I was going to actually do that <laughs> today. But anyway, um, yeah, ran short of time. And this damn thing happened. So, and of course, I was going to drive while I did it. So, yeah, that's not going to happen. So there you go. I'm going to go get my tyre fixed, hopefully. Because um, they won't have a spare. I'm sure, you know, nobody's going to have those energy saver tyre spare at the local tyre place. Because so few cars have the damn things. But uh, hopefully they can do the puncture repair. And uh, that'll at least get me back on the road. So, anyway, there you go. Catch you next time.